Hello, honey lovers everywhere. My name is Betty, Queen Bee, and spokesmodel for Behave Yourself Honey. As you will see, the founder of our company, Gene Wall Cole, or Mr. Gene as we lovingly call him, is a true American hero. Here's Julie. He rescued me and my beloved brood from certain disaster at great risk to his own physical well-being. Want to see? Roll that footage, please. This is a cry for help. I need 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 help. Welcome to Behave Yourself Honey Garden. See my new hive? I got this swarm yesterday I rescued from over in Kings Mountain. They're working. I think the poplars are out. They just come into bloom. That's one of the most salient points, I think, is that right now they're only going to get six weeks worth of uh, blossoms. And uh, we do this right, teach people how the bees can be having food six months out of every year. Down this way is cleared out the whole forest and made a beach down here because the bees need plenty of good water, especially if you want to have organic honey. Check out this sand. It is so rich. The bees have a hard time, especially coming by the thousands, getting through the woods. So to have a clear line of sight where they can come straight to it is real important. And of course, having all these rocks, they can land on the rocks, get the water, take it straight back to the hives. Now, this is about as clean a water as you're going to find anywhere in the United States right here. This is the bee barn, the whole workhouse where we can build all the bee equipment. I've got a, about a dozen big power tools that I'm going to be bringing in here. This room in here, it was stacked to the ceiling at the beginning of the spring. These are all ready to go. A lot of this stuff is 40, 50 years old. Each hive, I like to leave 70 pounds of honey at the end of the year, an entire super's worth anyway, plus the brood box, the big box at the bottom, so that they have all that to make it through the winter. Anything above that, then we can take out and that's the stuff that I'll be sending to people on Kickstarter that are helping us out. All natural honey straight out of the hives. When you take the honey out, you do centrifugal force, it throws it all out. What you've got left, just this little piece of wax in the middle. It's called drawn comb. That's worth its weight in gold because now you put that back in, they'll refill this in no time at all. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of flowers for the bees to draw the comb out where they can make it. Uh, would you like me to get a rack of honey? You can take a look at what it looks like when they filled it up. It was half past eight, I was feeling great. Don't know why, but I was feeling in love. I've been downtown just cruising around, imagining the one from above. I lived here, the girl of my dreams, she had angels all around her feet. But I seen her said, oh my, what's come over me? Take it, boy. All capped off so no water gets inside. Oh, wonderful. That'll get rid of your allergies. There's so many things that honey is good for. It's nature's purest food. Do you know it's the only food that bacteria can't grow in? They, can, they have found honey in the tombs that's 2,000 years old, still perfectly edible. Daddy, we all know you're the best, but let me take it for a minute. What we're about? We want to raise $20,000 to buy plants, install 24-7 bee cams, and complete our documentary, God Save the Queen. The film and garden will stand as a solution that others can copy to help confront the bee crisis. Where? On 77 acres, natural resources, pure spring water in western North Carolina. My favorite grandfather was born here. Why? The days are in crisis. One third of all the honeybees in America died last year. And as our modern day canary in the coal mine, their extinction would be an ecological disaster. Now, by installing 24-7 bee cams, we can reach a new generation. Once people learn which plants and when to plant, the bees could forage for six to eight months out of the year instead of just the six to eight weeks they're getting now. When? Now. Before it's too late, I've been building the garden sanctuary and filming for 
three years already. As Time Magazine reported less than 90 days ago, we're close to the edge. It's a roll of the dice now. Exactly when this love affair began with honeybees, I can't rightly tell you, but my first adventure to my Uncle C.R.'s bee farm was before I turned seven. When the day arrived, I willingly stuck my hand into a swarm of bees and discovered they were not only as curious about me as I was them, I was hooked. Just knowing that honey is the purest food on the planet and knowing that what an amazing function bees have, well, what's not to love? After watching our material here, please consider making a small, or large if you're so inclined, contribution to our program. Y'all come see me now, you hear? Most unusual bees I've ever seen. All piled up on the ground. And, oh, a couple are walking that way. I made them a nice home right here. Hopefully we're getting ready to rescue the neighborhood. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Carolyn Black. <laughs> we're going to rescue Carolyn. See them. Yeah, a couple of them are heading that way. This is cool. Look at this. Look at that. I just placed it down. I think they're all going to just walk in. Everybody is moving this way. Awesome. All I did was place the box. I've got babies in this one right here, the brood, and I got honey here to feed them. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Put it in our old hive. And look at the result. There's there's bees that their their whole job is to find the new home and there's bees that do nothing but get water and there's bees that do nothing but take the water out and there's bees that do nothing but protect the entrance and there's bees that do nothing but feed the queen and oh I mean they've all got their own jobs. I'm gonna have to paint the box or something and give it a color or something. This is this is like the new you know like your favorite child. <laughs> if, you know you're not supposed to have one but Come on, you guys march on out. Nice new house. Go oh, and go to bed.